we are here today to look at the nuclear family. What does it mean? Does it work? Do we live better because there is one, or should we abandon the idea? Science was interested in how the brain uh, functions, and one of the things they wanted to look at was the difference between uh, the brain of a Buddha, someone that meditated that was in bliss states, and one that's normal from armoring and things like that. And most of us uh, begin to develop certain portions of the brain that hold a lot of childhood trauma, uh, defense mechanisms, belief systems. And a lot of psychologists have to spend time breaking through that in order to have the therapy take effect. Whoa, whoa! Scared you, didn't I? The reason we have defense mechanisms is for us to survive in a situation that might be intolerable otherwise. I ain't got no mother. Oh, I did. I did, but back then, I was about five when I had a mother. She brought me to a bar, sold me for a pitcher of beer. That was last time. My uncle brought me home about four days after that. I ain't got no mother. I was in reform school. Reform school's been my mother. Violence is what violence is. It just, it just is. It's a necessary component to the way we live our life. If you can't get your point across, then I might have to stab you with a pencil to get my point across. I got shot at. It's a, you know, it's an isolated little dispute thing. You, sometimes you get in between the families, and then, you know, something happens. Kind of rough seeing your father with some, his all around somebody with the convertible car, and you know it's not your mother. You know, and you run all like crazy to tell your mother. You know, you're like eight years old, seven, eight years old. And you run, you're all out of breath. You ran a long way. As you come in the door, you're about to blurt it out. Guess who's there? Your father.
Women don't cook today. What is that? They don't want to have babies. They don't want to take care of the house. They don't want to clean. They don't want to be like mom. How come women don't want to be like mom anymore? Didn't work for my mom and any of her husbands. <laughs> she had many, and I should have known maybe from that, but I, I thought I'd give it a try. As far as the nuclear family, um, I feel sorry for them. Of course, it, it's really, um, it doesn't hold together when things get tough. We think it's um, an evil institution that was created by men and um, to keep women in their place. It's like a war between men and women today. When I got married, instead of getting a traditional diamond ring, because I can't wear one anyway, I got a Celtic knot tattooed on my finger, and he got a matching one. And then, when I realized, this is what I want to do, this is not going to go, I can't take it off. So I got a little void sign. So it's voided. It's not gone. It's voided. Why, why is there a war? What, what's the problem? Actually, my relationship with my ex-husband is better than ever. Because now we can relate to each other. Now he takes care of his part, and I take care of my part, and our paths only cross on Saturday mornings. Make love, not war, you know, the whole thing. They always compare love and war. Why not make love and just be nice? I found somebody that I don't have to be married to, and in fact, we're, we and have no intention of ever marrying. We have discussed the idea of going to an Indian reservation and getting mated. The nuclear family provide richness in uh, the discovery of self. Uh, someone, someone Buddha, <laughs> might have suggested that you chose that originally and you can go kicking and screaming or you can surrender to the chaos of it and see the humor. What's a family? Nuclear is, is power, it's a center. A family is where you find yourself, who you find yourself with. And when you say, Fucked up. What are you saying that's fucked up? I think you're fucked up. <laughs> 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 